Page 24, Huntsman's Chorus. From Der Freischurz, or whatever that name is, I can't pronounce that thing. It's, it's, I'm guessing that's an opera by Von Weber. Weber? Von Weber? Is that it? Never mind. You go look it up, you'll find it there. I want to talk about this piece, and we'll start with the right hand. Most of the time, the melody's in the right hand. Sometimes the two hands share it, but that's the way it is. Now we're back and forth four time, so we're counting one hand, two hand, three hand, four hand because of the eighth notes. The first full measure with the right hand plays. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Got staccatos. Last measure of the first line, slur staccato. A lot of times when you're ending slurs in this piece, it's a staccato. Bit of a problem because people get into the habit of doing that all the time, and that's not the case. Don't put a staccato in the last note unless it actually indicates a staccato. Be careful on that. At the end of a slur, remember what I'm okay. The second line, last measure, watch for the F sharps. Hopefully, not a problem. You get them again at the bottom. Over on page 25, now the, the two hands are sharing the melody after the initial. And then it's here. Go ahead and connect the half note with the first staccato in the left hand. One, two. Connect them as those are slurred. Two. And then two those slurs. There's a crescendo there. You start those out softly. And then each one gets a little loud. Don't get loud. You're just a little loud. You have to plan it out. Save most of your getting loud toward the end of that. Anytime you have a crescendo like that, it's, it's, it's not like it's a, a solid this way. It's more like it, you're getting a little louder, a little louder, and as you're getting close to the end, then you start really getting loud. That's a crescendo for you. Then down on the third line, second measure, you go one and two and three and four and one and two. Don't connect the half note with the E. Go ahead and separate those. It's like a different phrase, just lift up and, and before you play it. Etc. Left hand, no biggie, I hope. You just start out with the pickup note, that's melody. And then chords is not, it's harmony. Put your hand in that position, you drop the hand. Two counts, don't hold it too long, it's just two counts. When you play those eighth notes, the left hand's got to come up. Now the right hand is staccato, the left hand isn't, they're not the same. Staccato. That nice. Then the same thing again and going on. Top of page 25, again the two hands are sharing the melody. I talked about that already. And then starting in the last measure, the first line, where you're starting soft and you have that crescendo in the right hand. Just keep the left hand soft. Just let the right hand get just the right hand's what they need to hear. The left hand is just harmony. Soft, louder. At the end, there's a retardando to get slower, and an accent on that last one. A little extra oomph. I am done. Yay. It has a pickup beat at the beginning. You see one beat in there. So I'm going to give us three counts because of 4-4 four, four time. And let's play this together slowly. You do the dynamics and all that stuff. I'm, I want you to hear the notes and the rhythm, so I'm going to play it all about the same. So go ahead and put your hands where they go. Right hand is here. Left hand is here. Okay. One, ready, go.
three, four. <laughs> 